All right, so first thing we're gonna do is show you what we are looking to make here. All right, so Future Soldier poster um, created it in Microsoft PowerPoint. Since everybody has access to Microsoft PowerPoint, we'll be learning how to create that. So here's our source files folder. All right, I'm gonna share this folder with everybody so they can have access to it. But here we have our, all our images we'll be using to create this product. along with the Word document that has just a quick little verbiage of why I joined. Go ahead and minimize that so we can have that for later on. So now we're gonna open up Microsoft PowerPoint, open up a black presentation. I'm going to go ahead and select everything that it brings and just delete it. Okay. Also, if you don't already have these, we're going to make sure that you have your ruler and your, your rulers show up and also that your guidelines as well. So we scroll down to guides, see that my guides are on. As you can see, there goes my guidelines. And there goes my rulers. Next thing we're gonna do is change our, the size to our slide. So we're gonna change the width to eight inches and the height to 10 inches. This gives us a four to five ratio, which is the preferred um, sizes for social media. So we got our eight by 10 with our guidelines and our rulers. <coughs> Now we're going to format our background. Make sure that we are a solid fill, the drop down for the color, and choose black. So we have a black background. So now we're going to go ahead and open up the folder with our source images. And we're going to find infantry one through six and select all of them. This is gonna be the photos we're gonna use for our background. We're gonna copy those and we're gonna paste them. All right, so once you got them paste, it doesn't matter what particular order, but we're gonna do is we're just gonna size them up so it touches that guideline and put another one right next to it and continue this process. Put the one right under that one. So let's, let's get the one right there in the back since we have that. Just kind of line it up a little bit to the edge. Bring it up again. So what we're creating here is a just a simple um, collage background that we'll be using for our poster. Bring those up. And then now that I have kind of the base work there, I'm just gonna go ahead and tweak a little bit here and just make sure everything's lined up the way it's supposed to be. Just gonna bring it up there a little bit. Cover so it doesn't show none of the little um, open spaces showing the background. All 
All right, once all those are in place, we're gonna go ahead and select all of them and we're gonna group them. So right click, gonna group or group it. So now it's just one big picture. All right, so now we have that, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of um, make sure we format our pictures. So format picture. I'm going to color. I'm going to go down and change the images to a sepia tone. I'm going to bring that down to tab bit. There's not a perfect science to this is just you do what you think is gonna look best for you in your design so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a rectangle and this rectangle is gonna serve as our gradient So now over here, we're gonna change that to a gradient. So mine already has that preset, but we're gonna change it because yours is not. So I'm going to show you, you know, what you should pick. So we get that. Yours might look something like this. Make sure we set, select here the linear for type, the direction, I want the dark to light come down, so linear up. All right. So now we're gonna choose the gradient colors and change them. So selecting the first one, the white one, we're gonna change it to black. This middle one here, we don't need, so we're gonna delete it. And then this last one, we're also gonna change that one to black as well. Now we're going to select that first gradient stop and the transparency. We're going to push it all the way to 100%. As you can see, that creates some of a, a gradient effect going from black to transparent. We're going to add another one to the bottom. So we're just going to copy it. And just paste it. Oh, one thing I caught that I forgot to mention earlier. So when we created this rectangle, it came in with a line, an outline. So I'm sure we go to our line and then select no line. There you go. Now we copy and we paste. And then we're going to rotate it. There you go. I'm going to drag it down. It's about there. Um, I, I kind of want there to be more gradient from the bottom. So we're going to click and just drag that bottom gradient all the way to the top as well. So now we have that. So the next thing we're gonna add is our border. So go to insert. And go to our shapes and pick the rectangular shape. Go to that top edge, top left edge, and drag down to the bottom right. So once there, again, if you don't have the format shape, tools already on the right hand side right click and format shape we'll hit no fill and this time the line we want to keep the line 
and we'll change that to gold accent four. And then we'll give it a, a width of about 25. You get that. Now you have a border. So the border extended past the initial rectangle. That is fine. We won't see that outside part of the border. We want to see the inside. That's what we want. Okay. So now we're going to add our first text box for our title for our poster. Go to home, just make sure from the get go that we center it. Let's just change the color white so we can see it as we're typing. So hashtag future soldier. So here we'll bring the size up a little bit. And we're going to change the font. So I'm using a Mac. That's why my stuff looks a little different than yours. But I think we all have the Franklin Gothic font. So we'll use that as the default for this product. And we'll go with condensed medium. Bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna extend the, those borders for that text box out all the way to the edge of it. I'm gonna change this color to the gold accent four. And then we're gonna also select soldier. Okay. All right, so it's not allowing me for whatever reason to select soldier on its own. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just change everything, select it all, and change it all to gold. And hopefully it lets me select future, change it to white. And it did. Awesome. So we'll change the future to white. So we got the gold hashtag features on white, and then soldier is that gold accent for color. So here we'll use our arrow keys on our keyboard and kind of just nudge it up to where we see it, it kind of looks good. <clears throat> so if we underline it, you'll see that it brings that white in the future. So we don't want that. We just want a, a solid yellow line underneath or gold line underneath so we're going to go into our shapes and just i'm going to draw a line so guess that so we just drag it up so it's nice and it's running horizontally and we just kind of just figure out where we want it right there so all we're going to do to this line we're going to edit it again if you don't got the format shape okay on the right hand side just right click format shape okay and then what we're going to do is make sure that there's a solid line and just change the color to that gold accent for. And we can mess around with the width to kind of get a thicker line. See whatever we think looks best. Again, there's no exact number you should keep this at just whatever you think looks best for you all right so once we get that we'll just click on it and just use our arrow keys again and kind of nudge it up and line it up under it now i'll bring it up to five i think five looks better for the width and again just nudge it up a little bit more so it's lined up where i want it to be
All right, now that once we have that taken care of, we're gonna go into our source folder and we're gonna bring our future soldier. So copy, paste them on there. All right, so what we're gonna learn how to do here is how to remove the background and just keep the soldier. So we're gonna go to remove background. We're gonna drag all the way up, all the way down. And bring it, just pretty much extend the borders all the way to the actual size of the image. As you can see here, it did not properly select them. So all we got was the arms and half of the shirt. So we're gonna mark areas to keep. Zoom in a little bit, that we can get a better view. So we wanna start clicking inside the shirt. Okay, we don't wanna to go to the outside of it because we wanna just keep the shirt and his face. So we'll click, click. So we'll just keep clicking and kind of making a border around this future soldier. <clears throat> As you can see, as I'm clicking, I'm starting to get some of them back. Clicking, bring it down. Now his jeans came back. All right, so now that we're there, we're gonna click and drag a line in between, and that's gonna bring all of it back. And what we'll do, we're gonna just go ahead and check, because sometimes you get little things like this that happen. So just kind of click in there, we'll get that back, that little corner on the ear as well. Okay, scroll down, make sure nothing else is missed. And yeah, I think we got a, a good clean selection of the subject itself. So once we're done with that, we're satisfied, okay, keep changes. And as you can see, we have selected the object or the person and cleared the background. So now that we had that, we're gonna just size them up. Again, there's not a specific size. Um, I like to keep my persons in, in the posters that I make to kind of cover up a little bit of the title. I don't know, it make, kind of makes it look like a magazine cover when you do it that way, so. <clears throat> but that's optional, you don't have to make the future soldier cover up the future soldier text. All right, so the next thing we're gonna create, we're gonna create another gradient because we are gonna be putting some text at the bottom and I want that text to show so we're just gonna go ahead and create a rectangle again drag it up actually we don't want it to be on the outside of that border so let's just bring this up this way so the border is still showing you do that and just kind of nudge it down with your arrow keys so it kind of somewhat lines up with it. Now that we have that, we don't want no line. We want a gradient 
So we have that gradient we made earlier, so it's already there by default. But we want to rotate it because we want the black in the bottom and the transparent to the top. So we just rotate it around 180 degrees. All right, as you can see, now it's kind of that fade in the bottom. But I want it to bring it up a little bit more, so I'm just going to bring it to that halfway mark. About right there. Starting to look good, starting to come alive. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start just adding some more text. So we got a text box. Just drag it out. And type in 11x. Go to home, let's change this a bit. So we want this to be that gold. Make it bigger. And then use that Franklin Gothic and go back to that condensed media. Again, the size is up to you. You can make it bigger, smaller. Um, just choosing something that looks like this, okay? We're highlighting this future soldier. Um, with that, we're highlighting their MOS and what other options um, they came into the Army with. So I'm making a copy of the 11X. Just copy and paste it and just bringing it down. Make sure it's centered. And bringing that down, type it. Because here we're going to select this and we're going to type in infantrymen. And I want this the size to kind of be the same width that the 11X is. Okay. And we're going to change that color to white. And then we're going to copy, again, the infantryman and paste it. Because here we're going to put in that Private Joe Snuffy here came in as an 11 x-ray infantryman with option 40. That, we're going to change the color to that gold accent four again and just size it up a little bit so again it's somewhat the same width of the infantryman. All right, now we're going to put in um, his airborne wings. So we'll put in the JPEG, airborne wings JPEG in the source file, copy it. Bring it here and paste it. As you can see, this JPEG brings a white background. So we'll format our picture, if you don't have that already formatted, and go back to the remove background. So you can see it's kind of cutting off some of the wings. So we're gonna raise it up here, this border, and go to the right, and this should automatically read those wings and select them for you. <clears throat> Keep changes. Now we have our airborne wings without a background. Nice clean selection. We'll size them down to about the width of what we have already on the top for 11X Infantryman option 40. And we'll place that around there. So we're going to copy, we're going to use that option 40. We're just going to copy that. So copy and paste it and just bring it down. No reason to start creating a bunch of extra text boxes. 
So here we're gonna type out airborne. So one thing I forgot to do that we should have done is you can see that airborne, you barely can see it on his arm. So we're gonna add a shadow. So if you go to your shadow offset bottom right, it gives us a shadow. You kind of see a little bit of difference, but bring that transparency down so it gets darker. And let's put the size a little bit. I'm not sure why that just disappeared on me. Okay. No, let's just start it over again. Let's go from nothing. Let's go ahead and add again that shadow. So you see that shadow pop and just bring that transparency down so it looks a lot darker. So separation between the airborne and Joe Snuffy's arm there. Flexing one of the biceps. So let's go ahead and do this for all the other ones too since I forgot to do it earlier. So just drop. There you go. Transparency down. Infantryman. So now all of our text right now that needs it has a drop shadow. Okay. Looking pretty good. All right, so we'll go back to our source file folder. And then we're gonna get this ranger. So you see this ranger tab is a PNG file, which means that it automatically takes out the background. So there's no background, it's a clear transparent background was a PNG. So once we paste that there, you can see it's pretty much clear. So we'll just size that down. Again, somewhat same width as what we've been sizing everything else down. Maybe a little bigger than the airborne. And just nudge it down with our arrow keys to our right there. So right now we got that future soldier who's an 11 x-ray, infantryman, option 40, airborne ranger, and it shows. So on this side over here, we're gonna go ahead and add the US Army SEAL. Okay, so again, that was a PNG as well, which means it should not bring a background. We'll copy it, paste it, And just move it and drag it, so resize it to where we see or feel that it's the best size and position for it. So I'm gonna go about right there. Again, I'm not gonna add any more text boxes. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Just drag that airborne over here, underneath. And what we're gonna put here is just showing that this individual came into the army active duty. So if you have a reserve soldier, you can get the reserve seal and put it there and just change it to army reserve. Well, for this, in this case, we are putting that Private Joe Snuffy is joining the army active duty. So we changed that one active color to white, made a copy of that and made duty. and change that color to gold. Again, change the size so the width is about the same as the active. All right, just kind of mess with it a little bit. I don't, I want to make it bigger. So I'm just going to go ahead and nudge this real quick. Again, it's up to you if you want to do this or not. The size is kind of what you feel or think it looks best. So there we go. Size it up a little bit more. And I want to make this a little bigger as well. So just resize a little bit on the seal. And move it right there. All right, so again, we got 11 X-ray infantrymen, option 40, airborne ranger, active duty. So 
So now we're also going to highlight the fact that this individual received a nice bonus. So we'll put in here that he got a $40,000 cash bonus. We'll just kind of extend the text box a little bit. And then about, again, it's up to you where you want to kind of have it. But I think this one should be a little bit bigger because we want to highlight that. I think who doesn't want to see $40,000? So kind of make that kind of somewhat big so we can see it. Move it around there. And then I'm going to copy that and paste it and bring it right underneath. Here we're going to type in cash bonus. If I could spell, there you go. And change that color to white and then resize it. So again, it's about the same width as the 40. Thousand, and then click on that. Use your arrow keys and so nudge it down to where you see fit. We kind of want it lined up with that ranger, so we want this to kind of be the furthest, the lowest level we have for all of our, um, I guess, description of the future soldier. What this person is getting, because underneath we're going to add. Um, the text box but before we do that we're gonna add private Joe Snuffy's name on here so make sure you use our guidelines And go ahead and type in private Joe Snuffy. Extend it out some more. Again, use those those guidelines that we set up earlier. Make this a tad bit bigger. Extend it out. Want it just in one line. Bring it in, make sure again it lines up. Just nudge it a little bit with your arrow keys where you want it. All right, so now it's centered and where we want it at. Just make it one smaller. I think that'll work. So now when we got Private Joe Snuffy name on there, we're gonna highlight private and change that to that gold color we've been using. All right, so again, looking looking good. We have all the information we want to add to the poster. So the only thing we're gonna do now is add Private Joe Snuffy's reason to joining. So I'm sure you have that future soldier type out a quick couple sentences of the reason why they decided to join. Be on a Word document. Just copy that. And then we're gonna insert a text box. And click and drag. Create that box. And then we just pasted the text from the Word document. All right. So once we highlight the text, we'll change that font to the same font we've been using. Change it to white. And then we'll keep the same uniform throughout the entire product so we change the case from the way it is sentence case to all uppercase so everything looks the same and just bring it up a little bit bigger 
again, it's all up to you. However, however much space you see that you have, depending on what you've done, then you change that. So because this is Private Joe Snuffy's own words, we're going to go ahead and put quotation marks in the beginning and at the end. And then one thing that I like to do is just kind of look at words that pop out, like especially like the army, and just change those words just to kind of highlight those words and change the color of them. So I'm going to army. In this case, I'll just, I got bigger. Click on that. Opportunity. Go ahead and get serve as well. Again, just words that, that kind of stand out. Honor. And of course, army again. Format shape. Make sure that we are in our text options so that we can add a shadow to this as well. So clear the shadow. Offset bottom right, click on that. And just bring transparency a little bit. Can okay, kind of makes it stand out a little bit more from the background. Easier to read. Okay, things looking good. So we're gonna copy that text box. We're gonna paste it and bring it down. And select everything because here's where we're gonna make our contact information. So cell. Um, I guess you could put whatever, but you know you'll put your contact information, government cell phone number on here. I give it about five spaces. So just hit the space bar five times once you're done. Type in Instagram. And whatever your Instagram tagline or username is. Again, space bar five times. And if you have Facebook or whatever other social media platform you want to add on here your contact information you can go ahead and add that as well so we'll resize that <coughs> and i'm going to select cell and change the color so to stand out same thing with instagram and same for facebook Use your arrow keys, nudge it down to the bottom. And last thing we're gonna add is go into our source file and get an army logo. It's a PNG, so again, we'll bring no white background. Drop it in and resize that as you see fit. And just bring it down to that bottom right corner. I think that looks, yeah, that looks good. So it looks like I can kind of have a little extra space for my contact information text box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and type in 17, make it just a little bit bigger. Hit enter. 
Yep, that was pretty good. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, your own future soldier poster created in PowerPoint. Once you're done with it, save it as a JPEG, upload it to your social media platform. Enjoy.